Here in the Toshiden Theatre Collection, we'll be introducing a few short Japanese urban legends that you may or may not have otherwise heard of. So settle in and get ready for a few thrills, chills and spills as we see some of the finest Japan has to offer. The Doll Mask Man of Chiba Deep in the corners of the internet, you can find people talking about the Doll Mask Man of Chiba. But who exactly is he and what does he do? The Doll Mask Man is said to live in a deserted apartment complex in Matsudo City, Chiba Prefecture. He wears female doll masks and dresses up to take photos around the complex night after night. He even visits restaurants dressed like this, but most have since banned him. One of his hobbies seems to be uploading pictures from his photo shoots to various bulletin boards on the internet, and then enjoying how much it frightens people, which in and of itself is pretty frightening when you think about it. How to meet the person you want to see There are numerous urban legends informing people on how to visit another world. For example, internet users are perhaps quite familiar with the elevator method of moving to another dimension. But let me tell you instead, not how you can go to another world, but how you can meet someone again in this world who has already crossed over. Not only that, it is said that if you put this method into practice, you will be able to go with that person to live in their world. You must first travel to Shimane Prefecture. There is an abandoned hospital that has yet to be torn down that you must find. In the evening, perhaps around 5.30pm, you must climb the rusty emergency stairs. It is a spiral staircase. Once you reach the top, you must look down at the atrium. When you do this, you will once again see the person you were never supposed to meet again at the bottom of the stairs. That person will extend their hand towards you. Whether you take that hand is up to you. However, if you extend your hand and descend the stairs, you will soon be able to touch that person. If living has become too hard, you can use this method to once again be reunited with the person you love. But you must remember, no one knows how to come back once you do. Furthermore, there's no guarantee that the person who comes to meet you is really the same person you once loved in life. The Maze Doppelganger In the late 1980s, maze attractions popped up all over Japan. By completing these massive mazes you could collect stamps and also compete with others to see who could finish them the fastest. But then, as the 90s began, these mazes suddenly disappeared. These days, only the terrifying maze at Fuji Highland, a mix of a maze and a haunted house, is all that's left. But there's a certain rumour about why these mazes all suddenly disappeared. They say that if you got lost inside one of these giant mazes, then somewhere inside, you would run into someone that looks just like you you would run into your doppelganger. Rumours first started in August 1983, after the giant maze in a Niigata amusement park opened. Not even three weeks later, the maze was closed down. Numerous customers complained that they had seen a person inside the maze who looked just like them. After that, giant mazes boomed around the country, but as they spread, so did the rumours from the Niigata attraction. As the country entered the 90s, they all suddenly disappeared. Officially, the mazes took up a lot of space and brought in little profit, so as the bubble of the Japanese economy burst, they were closed. Even moving the walls to create new paths, people quickly grew tired of the same mazes and moved on. Officially, anyway. And what happened to the doppelgangers? Nobody knows. Hikaru-san's picture In a storehouse in Matsuyama University, you'll find a scary picture called Hikaru-san's picture. The eyes of the woman depicted in the painting move, and it's said she even comes out of the painting every now and then. If you happen to point at the picture, you'll soon find yourself injured. Some say that even if you burn the picture, it'll simply return to its original place. 
Hikaru-san's picture became famous nationwide after it was featured on Kiseki Taiken Unbelievable in 1996. Apparently, the painting used to sit on the wall by the stairs until the 1980s and had been there for quite some time. Due to a series of baffling events, the painting was then moved to a storehouse on the university grounds in the late 80s. The painting's official name is Shoujo, or Young Girl, and the artist is listed as Sato Hikaru, which is how it came to be known as Hikaru-san's picture. However, according to current and former students, no such student ever attended the university. Nobody knows how the painting ended up in the school. According to one story, a young woman was in the basement library after finishing her mid-year exams. She didn't notice that it was past closing time, nor did she see that security had already locked the door. The school entered summer vacation, and when the next semester began, security unlocked the door to the library once more. Inside, they found her decomposing body and scratch marks on the door. They say that even now, you can hear a voice calling out from the basement, pleading for someone to let me out. That girl was Hikaru-san's girlfriend. He was a member of the art club at university and painted her picture before her death. After her death, however, her malice took up residence in that painting to haunt the school forever after. New Kuchisake Onna Did you know that once again, Kuchisake Onna has become popular amongst young children. It might be the start of yet another yokai boom. As legends usually go, each time it's passed from person to person, it changes slightly. Which means that Kuchisake Onna as we know her now has started to change. The Kuchisake Onna we know has certain weaknesses. If you scream pomade three times, she will run. If you throw Bekko Ame at her, you can escape. If you mess up, however, she will hunt you down and kill you. She can cover a distance of 100 meters in six seconds, so escape is impossible. But things are changing. There was a time where if she asked you, am I pretty? And you answered with, so-so, she would stop to ponder your answer. This gave you some time to escape. Now, things have changed even more, and the proper way to respond to her is with, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If you answer her like this, she won't be able to do a thing. Modern children sure live in a complicated world. Sandpit Woman This legend was popular in the north of Kyushu during the early 1980s. If you were sitting alone on a park bench, there were times where you might suddenly find yourself alone, the entire park empty other than yourself. At such times, you had to head straight for the exit as fast as you could. You couldn't look around. If you did, you would hear the sound of footsteps in the sand. Instinctively, you would turn to the sandpit to see who it was. There, you would see a woman in a grey coat, her back turned to you, as she crouched in the sand. This woman would be frantically digging for something. You wouldn't be able to tear your eyes away from her. She would stand up and start walking. You would follow. Here, you had a choice. If you went to the woman, she would bury you alive. If you went past the woman, to the other side of the sandpit, then you would be free of her grip, but you had to make a lap of the park before you could leave. The woman would chase you the entire time. Under no circumstances could you turn around to look at her. If you could complete the lap, you would be free to go. And this is the tale of the Sandpit Woman. Sumikuro-kun Have you ever heard of Sumikuro-kun? If you know how to look for him, Anyone can see him. All you have to do is peek out the corner of your eye through a half-open door. That's it. If you do that, you'll be able to see Sumikuro-kun. Although, you do need to concentrate, or you won't be able to see him. 
you'll be able to see a shadow coming and going from the door. And that's him. Once you see him, you need to say, please go home, and then quietly close the door. Then he will return to his world. If you just look at him through the half-open door, then he'll disappear. Perhaps because of that, nobody knows for sure just what Sumikuro-kun really is. Some say that if you uncover who or what he really is, it will drive you mad and you won't be able to share that information with others anyway. Why not try it for yourself? You might see Sumikuro-kun as well. So what did you think of this week's legends? Do you have any similar ones in your own country? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.